Once again, our hero George patrols the jungle, ever vigilant. <laughs> A tree fell over? Oh, cool! <laughs> um, help? <laughs> beep, beep, beep! You should have watched out for that tree, little Ibex. Just get it off me! <laughs> there! That tree will never hurt anyone again! <laughs> <laughs> Nice rock. Yeah. <laughs> Hiya, George. Hi, Abe. Look what George did. You moved the rock? It asked nicely. <laughs> George, it says danger. Do not move this rock. It's just a cave. You're not afraid of a dark old cave, are you? You check it out. I'll stay up here eating this coconut. Hmm. My toes are all gooey. Mine too. It smells like cheese. It looks like whatever was trapped in this cave went that away. Ursula Magnolia! <laughs> Have you seen anything outside that's eating the trees? We've just been hanging out with our new pet, Clementine. Isn't she the cutest? Mm, yeah. No. Well, if you see something destroying the jungle, let me know. George, look! It's goo, like from the cave. Hmm. Let's take a sample to the doctors. <laughs> Just take the whole branch, George. Oh. Ah. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with you or the goo. It's perfectly good goo. Ow! But where does it come from? Every time a tree gets cut down, it's there. <laughs> Ancient wisdom says to know goo <laughs> must taste goo. Mm. Mm. Uh. Take that out of your mouth. You look silly. <laughs> Why do we keep coming here? Free candy. Now, Clementine. <laughs> Cute little pets don't spit goo. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey, Maggie, I found Clementine in my bug book. See? Now we can figure out what to feed her. It's called a spitting screech beetle. That picture looks so realistic. <laughs> oh, my! My book! She ate the pages! <laughs> well, ain't she the cutest? <laughs> you want to go outside and do that, sweetie? Hmm? No problem. Use the pet door, Clementine. <sighs> George should climb up here more often. Such a great view. George, we're trying to find the monster that's devouring the trees. There it is. George doesn't see it. <laughs> now I see it. <laughs> George, Clementine is the monster. She's the one destroying the junk. If she keeps eating like that, the jungle will become as bald as a baboon's butt. Without all the pretty colors. Stop, Beetle! Ha <laughs> ha
To rid the jungle of this tree-eating scourge, they had but one problem. What to tell Ursula? Where's my cute little buggy bug? Hoping that she would be fooled by a decoy made from paper mache, our courageous duo took the beetle through the canyon of pricker bushes. <laughs> across the desert desert and the always fun garden of exploding roses. <laughs> our destination at last. Problem solved island. Problem solved. <laughs> but their sacrifice and smug satisfaction was smashed when they came home to... <laughs> a strange surprise. Where have you two been? Look at the habitat I built for Clementine. I... But we... But he... How did... I... I thought... And I used Clementine's goo on my hair. It's the latest style. She must have followed us back. Girls, Clementine is bad. She eats trees and spits cheese. I made a rhymey thingy. Oh, that's ridiculous. Look at her. You have got to let us take her. You can take her for a walk after her nap. Now it's time for her massage, so shh, uh... come along. Far side of Problem Solved Island. That should do it. going on here? Sorry, Ursula. We have to take your tree-eating beetle away. Clementine is harmless. Maybe it's one of the other beetles. Other? Okay. The rest are outside. I think they're, you know, doing their business. <laughs> I don't see them eating any trees. <laughs> oh! How did that happen? Uh, did you miss the part where we said these beetles eat wood? George, you're the king of the jungle. So tell those beetles to cut it out. Beetles, as king of the jungle, I command you to stop eating the jungle. <gasps> George can't get beetles to listen. If they won't listen to the king of the jungle, who will they listen to? George, uh, your beetle king. <laughs> All right, it's working. <laughs> That's right. Go down in hole. I command you. Oh, wait, not me. I'm not me. You. Uh, I'm not really. <laughs> I don't stand on the first day. Oh, you beat them. Like, oh, you keep your six hands to yourself. <laughs> Ma'am, I. Oh, no, no, I just wait. <laughs> now they're not even a beetle. <laughs> George, we did it! <laughs> George, no! Wait, don't! But I have to say goodbye. We had a kooky time, huh? But if I let you out, you'll destroy the jungle, won't you? Yeah, well then, this is goodbye, isn't it? Oh! <laughs> Somebody ought to do something about that leak. George is gifted with superior sight and the 
superior ability to smell. your magic back George you're au natural yes George is a natural rescuer no no I mean you're buck naked <laughs> no I'm George you know of jungle? <laughs> <laughs> you, you lost. <laughs> lost your loincloth. <laughs> <laughs> George needs a new loincloth. The jungle just get colder. Turned. George! He's not there. Hey, Hush. Don't you tell, boy. What's that, Shep? You want a coconut? Is that what you want? Now, I don't speak elephant, but I think he's saying George is down by the lagoon. Let's go. Shep, go get George's loincloth. Good boy. No, Shep, loincloth, loincloth. Oh. Dookie oh. Dookie, get my loincloth. Phew. George needs to get home and fast. Psst. Ape. Ape. Hey, ape. George. Huh, came from over there. Did you hear that? A merit badge to the girl who finds the animal that made that noise. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of screaming in the jungle today. Oh, George. <sighs> Phew. They stopped chasing George and throwing rocks. <gasps> okay, sun is there. Volcano there. 
I am here. So tree house must be... Oh, heck, I don't know. Yes, clothes! Beautiful clothes! Why not? I say, Dr. Livingood, what a relief to finally find you. Oh, no, no. George's name is George. And after eight long months of searching... Georgia. Oh, terrible journey. Storms at sea, pirates, cannibals, pirate cannibals. Oh, I would have found you too if I hadn't fallen into that hole. You fell down there? And I never came out. Bad luck that, eh? Wait. If you're there, but you're also here, well, that means you're a... Uh, uh, a... <laughs> right, so if you're a, a ghost, <laughs> and I'm wearing your clothes, <sighs> boo, then I must be wearing ghost pants! George continues his journey in search of his elusive loincloth across deserts, hot, hot, hot. over snow-capped mountains, cool, 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 cool. across raging rivers. Red, red, where? No! No! Yeah, why are you hiding? <laughs> I lost my loincloth. <gasps> you mean you make it? <laughs> the prophecies are true! According to these ancient hieroglyphics, a man with no clothes will arrive and become our king. George is a man with no clothes. I give you your king! <laughs> No wood under George's throne. It's part of the ceremony. Are, are spices part of the ceremony? And breadcrumbs. This ancient combination of 12 herbs and spices is formulated to keep your majesty succulent and tender and... Uh, happy. <laughs> It's nice and fat, so we can have you for dinner. Oh. Mm. You mean have George over for dinner? Right, so we can have you over for dinner. We'll eat you. Oh. What? Eat, eat. Oh. I'll be right back. Hmm. Naked man is declared king. Everyone celebrates. Oh. Okay, so far. Oh. <gasps> Fine print. George gets tossed in cauldron. Okay, sure. George gets cooked into soup. Okay, okay. Then they eat the soup with George in it! And now, my king, it is time to fulfill your destiny! The king has escaped! Get him! Or he gets all puff and stringy! Which path does George take? There he is! George made it. And let's agree that this never happened. Now, to get spare loincloth... Surprise! <gasps> uh, George? I, uh... I got you this. Oh! It's just what I always wanted! <laughs> uh... Yes? Uh... 
never mind. <laughs> <laughs> could cause such chaos. <laughs> George and Abe, just days before their annual bath. Do I smell the rotten stink of Abe? Ooh, is that the aroma of my unwashed pal, George? <laughs> 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 Mom, can I go outside? I said no. Now go play in some manure until it's safe up there. Ugh. Something terrible has turned rotten. Don't worry. Whatever it is, we throw it out, bury the fridge, burn the kitchen, and boof. Oh, Magnolia, what is that smell? Oh, just George and I. Didn't you know they only take a bath once a year? Ew. Yeah, things get pretty bad in the last week. Even their rubber bath ducky goes into hiding. Yes, sir. I'm a regular duck. Quack. Quack, quack, quack. They take an annual bath? Ew, that is so childish, so foolish, so boyish. Hi, everyone. George, you and Ape need to take a bath. Ha, <laughs> typical human attitude. Being dirty keeps the bugs from biting. They can't stand the taste. Ursula should try it. You're not going to take a bath? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, fine. We'll just glue these flowers to our face and smell fast. Oh, I could make a flower perfume you can spray on yourself till bath day. I was thinking they could gargle with it. No way! George doesn't want to smell like a girl. <sighs> yeah, e pluribus smell them. United we stink. Girls are so dramatic. Ape said it. Uh, we flew south from this. I thought bath day would never get here. What are you wearing? I tore all the perfume sample strips out of my magazine, and I made this super cute skirt. Huh? What are you wearing? Something my dad invented. If the smell gets too bad, you just pull this. So refreshing! Ape in the air! <laughs> Yay! Yay! Come on in, George! Whoa! Ho oh, ho! That's what I smelled like! I thought you were gonna go for the record. <laughs> There's a record for not taking a bath? Sure. Reginald Stinker McGaw once went two years. Smelled all his feathers off. Hmm. The king of the jungle should hold all the records. One more year! One more year! You One better more not year. be thinking what One I think you're thinking. Year. One more year! One more year! One more year! One more year! I took those flowers and made a huge jug of perfume. It's really strong, so only use a few drops. Don't you think you might be overreacting a little? Uh, hello, friends! <laughs> Give me that. Look, George, even Ape can't stand your stench. But George's stench is getting stronger. Watch. Open smell of me You have to listen to us, George. The grass has stopped growing under your tree house. It refuses to leave the dirt. You don't get visitors or mail. Or breathable air. Oh. Okay, guys. I'm going in. Be brave. <sighs> Just a couple of drops on you should do it. <laughs> Smell no match for all powerful George smell. 
Wanna play fetch? <laughs> hey, girls! Get away! Don't come any closer! <laughs> his friends. Oh, maybe record isn't worth it. George will take bath first thing in the morning. Uh, bath time! Oh, woo -hoo. I still hold the record. You were taking a bath. Help! I'm being smelled now. <gasps> George needs help. I'm afraid his collective odors have finally taken over. Wait! Oh. The smell, it's alive. <laughs> Smells aren't alive. They're simply molecules impinging on the human olfactory apparatus that. Help! It's alive! <laughs> Arrest that aroma! <laughs> We only want to talk. I'm right here. Over there. <laughs> Which way did he go? Over there. <laughs> <laughs> that smell is too smart. This calls for some serious science. This device creates a solid containment sphere. I may be able to neutralize this smell. If you can just trick it onto this platform, how? Do not worry. I have that covered. Worst smell in the world! If you seek the reef, come take a peek! Say fantastic! Free rotting cheese inside! Come and get it! Wait! <laughs> What happened? Wait, where's the smell? Ugh. Impossible. It evolved. It can live on its own. <laughs> How's your scientific method working out? Oh, can it? Hey, what about me? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> See? If he can do it, you can do it, you lazy slob. Smell is heading for the river, and it doesn't know the shortcut. Follow George! If he touches that water, it'll be aromagator. And that's bad, right? Very. Imagine all the water in the jungle tasting like a dirty George! <gasps> We're, We're doomed! doomed. <laughs> Not necessarily. A perfume! I've increased the sweetness and purity by a power of Boogity 11. There is no such number as Boogity 11, you board shaking troglodyte! <laughs> perfume! has an idea. George! <laughs> Smell, smells, don't fight. You have so much in common. <laughs> like, uh, well, you both stink. <laughs> Girly smell. Look how strong bad smell is. <laughs> and bad smell. She's kind of cute, right? In a disgusting, nose hair burning way. <laughs> oh, 
What have I doing? I, I think I smell love in the air. <laughs> the smells are going away. George solved whole problem. But you created the problem. Ah, but I solved the problem. Huh? What's George's big reward? Huh? 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 Oh, 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 Raised by animals and trained to track his prey silently, George of the Jungle loves the thrill of the hunt. Huh? <laughs> George, what did you save me from this time? Found another coconut that looks like George. I collect them. George, there's no room in here for any more junk. What are you talking about? Just my pine cone collection, my sleeping squirrel collection, my things that fell on George's head collection. But there's no room left in the treehouse for us to live in. Hmm. Okay, give George one out. There, no more clutter. Okay, give George one week. What do you think? Wow, a new treehouse. Ape and George get own rooms. It's really nice, George. Are you sure the tree won't break? <gasps> it can't break. It's a rubber tree. <sighs> Just look at that view. <gasps> and this is the den. <gasps> wow, a lost temple of gold. How do you lose something this big? I could learn so much about an ancient culture. I can dress like an ancient queen. I can have my, my own room. Dip. Hey, Matt. What's the big idea? Sorry, I didn't see you there. Call me Big Mitch. Everyone does. Who calls you Big Mitch? They do, everybody. I'm very popular. This is your temple? Oh, lucky. Ah, you like my temple, do you? You bet. It's so big and roomy and wide open. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a great place for parties. And it's got these handy utensil dispensers. What George wouldn't give to live in a place like this. Hmm. What exactly would you give? I'm gonna look good in this. Whoops! Uh-oh. <laughs> this place is booby-trapped. We've gotta get out of here! Okay, we'll trade. George will give you four mangoes, uh, this string, ooh, and my treehouse for your temple. You'll give me a treehouse? Mm, I don't know. This temple has been in my family for generations. Okay, okay, two pieces of string. Okay, deal. But remember, no take-backs. No take-backs. So long, sucker. <laughs> so long. We've got to leave, now. This temple is full of booby traps. And jewelry. And dangerous booby traps. And now we get to live here. George traded our old tree house for this awesome temple. Surprise! <gasps> Ooh, awkward. Okay, we're gonna let you two sort this out from the safety of our own homes. Ape? You mad? Would you excuse me for a minute? I'm gonna go pick out a room. Sure thingy. Just as long as you're not mad. Uh, sorry.
Gary Ape, I called dibs on that room. Salt, please. this means uh it means we can never go home again what have you done george me uh, well this is all ape's fault how is it my fault somehow oh, it's a good thing this is a big temple because i don't want to talk to you right now we'll talk later then <laughs> George. I'm sorry. You should be. Sorry, George, listen to you in the first place. This is all your fault. My fault. It is all your fault. It is not my fault. I don't, don't really possibly fault. know what you're doing. Hey, hey, hey. What is wrong with you? You used to be best friends. It doesn't matter where you live as long as you're together. Buddy. Pal. Good. Now get your treehouse back so I can get some sleep. But you just said... No! <sighs> Big Mitch said no tradebacks. Maybe he'll trade for something else. Quick, what have we got besides that stupid temple of gold? I got this paper clip. And I've got some lint. Let's go. Big Mitch will never trade the treehouse for this. Then we'll just have to trade this for something he will want. And I'll give you all of this in exchange for Egypt. Mm. Yeah. <gasps> There's no way Mitch won't give us our house back in exchange for all of Egypt. Right, George? George? George, wait! George, you just trade the nation of Egypt for a glass of lemonade? Uh, sort of. You're not giving up yet, are you? I was hoping to, yes. We did it once. We can do it again. I've got some more lint. What have you got in your pocket? I have this other shrunken head. Shrunken head for trade! Shrunken head! Uh, who needs one? Shrunken head for trade! <laughs> Mr. Snuffles? Mr. Snuffles! Mr. Mr. Snuffles? My beloved childhood friend. Thrown out by my own mother. Hey! What's the big idea? 
Mr. Snuffles was your beloved childhood friend. Now he's George's beloved childhood friend. I'll give you anything from Mr. Snuffles. Anything. Anything? Got any lemonade? George! Mr. Snuffles, I never thought I'd see you again. I'm so glad you're safe. Ow! 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 You got back your home and all of George's collections. Now that's a good trade. Nope. George traded his collections to Big Mitch for this. The jungle is a dark and dangerous place, especially with deadly spears flying through the air. <gasps> George! This is the poisonous asparagus, George. We need the kind you eat. Well, how can you tell the difference? Okay, bananas check. Hmm. What's monkey thumb? That's, uh, my thumb on the list. Oh, so we already got it. Check! You gather these other ingredients while I go home and start dinner. <laughs> Mushroom, check. <gasps> Carrot, check. Hmm. George saw this plant once before. A long time ago. Oh, not that long ago. That's it! <laughs> ah, George remembers the good old days. Good. Feels good to remember. Oh, I should remember here, too. Yeah. Oh, remember this? And this? Yeah, I remember. Ah. No! Once there was an ape, a great, great ape, the greatest ape of all. Oops. <laughs> oh, hey. Sometimes you just gotta sing it. <laughs> the greatest ape of all. <gasps> George, what happened? Your face is all red and swollen. Oh, now I call that color more sunrise vermilion, but you're definitely swollen. Don't be silly. Don't be. <laughs> Hey, Ape, when did we get this big red talking balloon? Uh, I am afraid it's itchy swellitis. The worst thing you can possibly do is to scratch it. So George should get friend to scratch. No, no. Scratch with a stick? Mm-mm. Let in his scratchy tree head first? Uh, no. The only antidote is this. Ah, oh, that brings back memories. Hmm. <laughs> ah, memories. <laughs> I mean, no! George will never take that stuff again! <laughs> <laughs> that was years ago. We have a new formula now. It tastes like uh, a bubble gum. <laughs> <laughs> The itch of a thousand scratches! There's only one cure. You must bathe in a bathtub of crocodile spit under the full moon. That's ridiculous! <laughs> yeah! Then where can George get that much crocodile spit? I just got a shipment. Loofah? No medicine, no spit, no loofah. George just won't scratch and everything will be fine. <laughs> George! No medicine, no medicine! Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> nice work, Chef. George, just drink the medicine. No. It'll cure you. No. But it's delicious. I'll prove it. Hey, show us how yummy this is. See? Be right back. 
George has had it with friends' unflinching support. Trying to take care of George, worried about his health, looking out for his happiness. Enough! Ow! Itchy! 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 George, we're very worried about you. Go away. And we've come up with a way to help you without the medicine. Oh, you invented porcupine pajamas? It's not clothing exactly. It's more of uh, an accessory. Oh, how long does George have to wear this? Until your itch goes away. George, looky, we can decorate it. Hmm, not bad. Put a cone on my face. <sighs> we wouldn't have to do this if you just drink the medicine. Can't drink without a mouth. No. No, George. Chef! Don't you see? This is for your own good. Thanks to this cone, it doesn't matter how often I say the words itch, ah. scratch, oh. or blessed relief, or uh-huh, 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 right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Ah! 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 Hey! Ah! I'm sorry, George. That was partially our fault. You can't work if you're scratching all the time. And what can you be if you're not king of the jungle? A convenient dinner? Oh, don't be ridiculous. All you've done is be supportive and helpful. George needs a friend who will let him scratch his butt off. Oops, I that yesterday. And so our inflamed idol tried hard not to scratch, <gasps> but he tried even harder to get scratched. Uh, uh... Whoa, you got a lot of cones. <laughs> let me guess, supportive friends? Yeah. Then I've got a big surprise for you. Follow me! Ow! Oh, ow! Ow! Whoa! What is this place? A place where animals are free to scratch! <laughs> it's... it's so... beautiful! Welcome to the land of the animals who refuse to take that pink medicine! They try to fool us with the bubblegum flavor, but it's all the same stuff. Horrible liquid! Horrible liquid! No! The problem isn't the yucky, nasty bubblegum <laughs> medicine. The problem is our friends. Yeah! yeah. Let's, yeah. Eat our friends. Let's eat them! Yeah! Eat our friends! We have to educate our friends. For without education, friends are just stupid people we know. Well, how do we educate our friends? A, a brochure? We could post flyers. I got it. Welcome, friends who used to be friends. We hope tonight's show will shine a light on a Big social problem. Curtains, please! <laughs> <laughs> Got an itch right here on my derriere. And my scratching finger is so, so near. Bamboo, bamboo. You can reach it with a stiff bamboo. What's black and white and red all over? It's your soul. Just because we're swelling doesn't mean that we're not swell. They just don't understand. We, we want, want to scratch each other's hand. <laughs> to scratch <laughs> the impossible it. Ain't it swell? Ain't it red? Gonna scratch a big inch on my head. Bigger Big nails. Everything's full and, and 
Ursula, only humans. A toast to the magnificent and very swollen cast! To greater understanding. <laughs> Sneaky, conniving friends trick George into getting better. Ah, uh, look on the bright side, George. Now you can help me with my idea for a new musical. It's about a young ape with big dreams and a, and a lot of spunk. I call it The Greatest Ape of All. George has never run so fast. <laughs> Never paddled so powerfully. Ah! And never lingered so little over his chili cheese mango. Could George get that to go? Don't worry. George will get you back to your mommy, little... <laughs> chili cheese mango? No! Ow! Yuck! Where's my baby? Don't worry, ma'am. Yes, it's George's cousin, Larry of the Jungle. Note his fancy loincloth, impractical shoes, and his love for Cousin George. Ooh. I believe this is yours. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> for me? Cousin Larry. Hey, George, see how I saved that baby taper? Did you see it? I got a trophy. Look, it's shiny. It sure is. Lucky I brought my trophy case. You sure have a lot of trophies, Cousin Larry. Well, you only win if you're a winner. And I'm a winner, George. Hugging contest. I win. Come on, Seven. Oh, no. Snake mouth. Don't you mean snake eyes? No, I mean mouth. He ate the dice. <laughs> Oh, no, it's George's cousin, Larry. A guest! Maybe he brought presents! Uh, Larry is completely obnoxious. Ever since they were little kids, he had to beat George at everything. My sandcastle's bigger than yours. I win! My shovel's bigger than yours. I win! My pet is... <laughs> smaller than yours. I win! Oh, I thought I had you on that one. And George never calls him on it. Why not? George is just too nice to realize that Larry is a conniving troublemaker. <laughs> I got here first. I win. Yeah. <laughs> Cousin Larry, you remember Ape. Hi, Ape. I said hi first. I win. Hi, Larry. And this is Ursula and Magnolia. A board game? Let me play. I have my own dice. 85. I win. Larry, L-A-R-R-Y, he's the always winning guy. You must be tired after dragging that beautiful trophy case all the way here. Join us for dinner. Race into that tree. Lose a dozen dishes. I win. Enthusiastic. I like that. First place three-legged race. First person to climb Mike Everest. Uh, a guy he went to school with. <laughs> Guess who lost again to Larry? Hey, hey. I just rifle through your closet. You know who has the most blue shirts? Me! Let's celebrate me winning by going on a picnic. I'll take care of everything. <laughs> Sorry to make you guys carry everything, but I did beat you at the having fewest letters in your name contest. Wait a minute. I have the shortest name. Animals not included, no take backs, no give backs, no double whammies. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Let's relax for a little while before we eat. <laughs> Ooh, who's most relaxed? Me, I'm not even moving. I win. I get to jump on everyone's stomach. Ooh. Ow! Ow! Oh. Mm. 
I never get this angry. I don't get tired of new shoes as fast as I'm getting tired of Cousin Larry. Shh. Larry's winning sleeping contest. Mm. When? Mm. When? George, we hate to say this, but Cousin Larry has to go. Shh. We can't kick out George's family. <laughs> yes, we can. In fact, let's have a contest to see how far out we can kick him. But Larry gave us the picnic. Don't you see? He's a winaholic. He only picks games he can't lose. I hate to say this, George, but I'm in complete agreement. Ha! There, see? No, George, with Magnolia. Boy, Abe changes mind pretty quick. I always agreed with Magnolia. I don't like him. None of us do. Also, we believe he cheats. <gasps> George will sit on forgetting Rock now until he forgets what Abe just said. I forget. Where is Forgetting Rock? So, George sat upon the Forgetting Rock, and he forgot. He forgot and forgot until he couldn't remember what he was forgetting. <laughs> Big hairy beast is growling, but George forgets what he's supposed to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Have you seen this guy anywhere? George's cousin Larry. Yeah, he's staying with me and Ape, but Ape was mean to him. Uh-oh, George was supposed to forget that. Forget. Beat Larry, beat Larry. Hey, wait, George won't let you hurt Larry. We won't hurt Larry. We Yeti are scary but peaceful creatures. We do not fight with our feast. We fight by eating pies, you see. We Yeti take great pride in our pie eating, and each spring, we win the annual Pie Gobbling Holdown. For centuries, Yetis have won. This year, we were robbed. We are absolutely convinced that Larry cheated at... Yeah? Uh, I forgot. There's no way Larry ate more pies than a Yeti. They're famous for that. And stealing Mountaineer's girlfriends. He must have cheated. George will prove Larry's no cheater at a jungle pie gobbling rematch with that bunch of sore loser yetis. Yetis? Um, you know, George, maybe instead we can just flip a coin. Look, I have one right here. <laughs> hmm. Why so nervous, Larry? You win every contest, remember? Maybe we could do this at night. Uh, in the dark, I'm usually hungrier around 9, 9.30? Nope, broad daylight, so everyone will see Larry win. Will there be a pie-eating puppy under the table? No way! Plus, George has a dozen unbribable monkey judges examine every pie. Oh, ow, my stomach, my head, my throat, my ankles! Larry's award-winning champion stomach, head, throat, ankles hurts? It's a rare two-hour virus. No problem. I'll just tell everyone to wait. I mean, 22-hour virus. George will have to eat in my place. <laughs> Please, George. We're family. Oh, all right. George will do it for family. Yeah! <laughs> George, you don't have to do this. Larry can forfeit. Never! Then everyone might think Cousin Larry is a cheater. Oh. Ready? <laughs> Begin! George to win. Oh, oh. George, I didn't want to tell you this because I didn't think you'd believe me. But Larry made a bet that you would lose. What? Ow. Larry not sick? Larry cheated? I bet my room in the treehouse that you can do without cheating what he can only do with fake stomachs and pie-eating dogs in his pants. I believe in you, George. George won't let Ape down. For once, George going to beat lying, cheating, faking Larry. Let's do this! It's 
all tied up. Come on, George! You can do it! Almost there. Yetis for this honor. And now, George would like to give this trophy to your loving, much more deserving cousin to the first Yeti to chase Cousin Larry out of the jungle. Yeah! What? <laughs> George! That was amazing! To celebrate, let's go out to dinner! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I think... I think I'm gonna be. Get a garbage can! Get a garbage truck! <laughs> <laughs>